Is this thing on? Hello, is this video? Okay. Hello, Facebook, Twitter, and uh, KR gang. Does KR even exist anymore? I, I got I got to admit, I've never, uh, I haven't been on that website in ages. But I am always on Facebook and, and Twitter, even though Twitter kind of sucks. It doesn't really let me post lengthy messages like I want. But, uh... I'm going to do this video without showing my ugly face because I know you people are appalled by it, but I this video is not about me. I just went to Half Price Books and got a shitload of records for a pretty good price, actually. Uh, how many did I get? One, two, three, four. I think I got about six records for like, uh, well, like 20 bucks, actually, uh, which is pretty good. All right, here we go. Uh... The first one uh, that I got is uh, the Eddie and the Cruisers motion picture soundtrack, which actually, do the first Eddie and the Cruisers was, was a great movie, um, but, you know, they, they fucked it up by making that god-awful sequel, because I like the way how it ended, the first one. If they would have just left it at that, it would, it would have been such a great movie, but they kind of went ahead and fucked it up by that... Eddie and the Cruisers 2, Eddie Lives, and nobody except for Michael Perry returned for the original. It's like they didn't have the budget to hire all the actors back, and he was the only one that came back, and uh, the ending was just so bad. When he rocks up on stage, and I think he goes, I'm Eddie, and these are the Cruisers, or something like that, and he makes a comeback, and it's like, I just kind of liked how he just kind of, in the first one, he just disappeared into oblivion, and... He kind of wanted to get away from that lifestyle. And that would have been much better if it would have ended like that. But anyway, it's got the uh, Dark Side song on there, which I fucking love. It's mainly the reason why I bought this. It was I found it for a dollar in the clearance rack. So I mainly bought it because of that song. But they had some good music on this. And I bought Tony Basil. Which I think, yes, it does have Mickey on there. <laughs> Fucking love that song. It's uh, so cheesy and fun, but it's great. And I always thought she's kind of hot in a weird sort of way. She's got creepy eyes, but she's still pretty hot. So I got that one. Oh, 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 oh. And I found this one. Oh my god, I can't believe I found this one for two bucks, but I bought the Xanadu soundtrack featuring Electric Light Orchestra, which uh, that is my one of my top favorite bands right there. And Olivia Newton John. Uh, the thing about when you go to Half Price Books to get vinyls, be careful because uh, they have the vinyl and uh, laser discs shuffled in together. And I found the, uh, the Batman laser disc, and I thought it was a soundtrack, and I almost bought it. I was like, oh shit, you know, I'm, I've, got, I've got to buy this. Uh, and I thought it was the vinyl, but then I looked closely and it was the laser disc. So I'm like, oh, it's a good thing I didn't buy that. Uh, so you got to be careful of that. You gotta, if you go to vinyl, buy vinyls, watch out for that. Because, yeah, they, they're, not, they're not very organized there. They just kind of shuffle shit together. But, um, oh, and, and this is another one of my favorite bands, too. The Eurythmics, which features Sweet Dreams Are Made of These. And Billy Squire. And a lot, a lot of these were, uh, yeah, were only like a dollar, two dollars. So, yeah, I got that one. Oh, and last but not least, I always save the best for last, but I had to buy this. Uh, the Ghostbusters soundtrack. <laughs> I had to fucking buy this. Um, yeah, man. I, I couldn't leave the store without buying that. Now I tried to find the um, the the Queen uh, News of the World thing, but yeah, of course I, I kind of knew they wouldn't have it there. Uh, online they they want well, there was one place online that was selling it for twenty, but they don't have it anymore. And everywhere they're selling it for fifty, so I don't <laughs> I don't have that kind of money to to spend on one vinyl, but. Uh, I don't know. When it when I, when I can find another one for a lower price, I'll get it. <laughs> but yep. In the meantime, I got these. So yeah, man. 
I kind of made quite a haul, so. It's like, give him a kiss. He kind of looks like, uh, the fuck's his name? You're probably thinking Cam from uh, Modern Family, but no, I was thinking, of, well, he actually does kind of look like Cam. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I was thinking of Alfred Hitchcock. Kind of looks like Alfred Hitchcock. It's like, give him a kiss. Alrighty, well, that's, uh, that's, that's my haul for today. And, oh, and I, I got this thing, too. It's, uh, I think I kind of paid too much for it, but it's a vinyl cleaner. It's a brush. <laughs> I don't know. All right, well, that's my flesh eater video. I'm just gonna, now I'm gonna try to upload this if I can. I always have problems uploading shit to YouTube. But there we go. All right, see you on the flip side. Ah!